Hello and welcome back to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa Channel 408. So we have another segment coming in with a special guest. Her name is Ade Tutu Laditon, who will be joining us via Zoom to discuss the music industry, YouTube Music Week, copyright content, and as much as time will permit, honestly, uh, because she is phenomenal. She is the product marketing manager for Google in Sub-Saharan Africa with a background in marketing, media strategy, and content development centered around consumer experiences. She understands what drives businesses and how to spread brand awareness efficiently for optimum product promotion. She's currently obsessed with innovating new ways of creating amazing content that's absurdly useful and effective to consumers. Hello, Ade Tutu. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hey. how are you doing? Hi, well, I'm how are Rose. you? Good to have you with Hi, us. Everyone. Yes. Okay, so nice let's today. just jump into the most recent thing that has been happening. Well, I said that was sizzling hot in the entertainment industry, music to be specific, which was the YouTube Music Week um, and the artist hangout and all of that stuff. It's kind of interesting because most of those artists were not even in the country. So for people who are watching right now who know nothing about that, can you tell us what that um, that um, hangout was supposed to be about? What was what was the aim? Okay, um, so we launched YouTube Music in Nigeria sometime in March. Um, and as you all know, this year has been a very unusual year. Um, so we came up with YouTube Music primarily to celebrate artists who are sort of releasing songs and making waves right now in, in the music industry. Um, our idea was to basically showcase the fact that um, YouTube is here in market, YouTube Music being that. Um, and then just give this artist an opportunity to have a voice to talk about their albums, to talk about their collaborations, to talk about how YouTube as a platform um, has supported them. Um, and so we, we did that last week. We had about four artists who have released different albums in the last, I mean, three to five months. Um, and it was an engaging session that featured press and influencers across the board. All right, so you know how it is with a, um, a lot of artists, especially the upcoming ones, who the pandemic has definitely made them want to drop the ball or give up on music. And then YouTube is a platform that we know that it is good for everyone, even established artists, the upcoming ones and all. So for an upcoming artist who feel like they don't have hope anymore, how can YouTube help them to, during this pandemic to still grow, you know, sell their music and all of that and, you know, create content and stuff? I think, for one, YouTube and YouTube Music are sort of in the main, the main platforms, right? And for everyone who understands the value the platform brings, one is giving you visibility. You have to do a lot of work by, by yourself as an artist to make sure, first and foremost, you have good songs, right? Because I, I do get situations where people drop albums and nobody, nobody likes it, nobody sort of jumps on it. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it lies on the artist to make sure the song is good, it's relevant, it has the right beats. And then you also use your networks to sort of amplify it. But once it is on YouTube, it gives them that visibility that they need, not just locally, but with a more global audience. Um, and so from our own end, one thing we definitely try to do with YouTube Music, if you go there on the platform, we have like a latest release um, sort of platform where you can find new music. And so artists that have new music and are working with their labels properly can be featured there. It's a great way for people to discover their music. Likewise, we have other features with it, which has playlists. So if your song is relevant, in some cases, you have users put it into a playlist, right? We also do supporting when it comes to training um, and giving them all the relevant tips and tools for optimization on the platform. So across the board, when it comes to up, up and coming artists, I think there's a lot of work they have to do to make sure they have the right song um, and uh, are optimizing the platform to deliver on all of that. But from our own end, we also give them that opportunity to get visible on the platform. All right. So there, there's some people, right, that um, they feel like they don't get a lot of views when they post on YouTube, you know, probably with the name, they, with the way they tag and stuff like that. I need you from being a content producer for YouTube. How can you advise them on how to tag stuff so that they can amplify their views and stuff like that? Well, I'd say they use, there's a playbook that has everything. There's even a YouTube Creator Academy. I, which I'd encourage a lot of creators to go find out about. It's um, just go on the Google search engine and just type in the YouTube playbook and then go to the YouTube uh, Creator Academy where you can take some trainings. There's a lot of resources to guide artists and even guide content creators on how to optimize their channels for efficiency, 
right? Um, and so beyond tags, there are certain things at the back end you need to make sure you're doing, your thumbnail, your, your labeling. Those are some of the key things. So within those two tools of using the YouTube playbook um, and probably taking some courses on and watching some videos on the Creator Academy, I'm sure they'll be covered. All right. All right, so for a lot of, for a lot of um, content creators and artists, they really don't know what the YouTube uh, Music Week is all about. What, what, what is it going to do uh, for them? Now, with the pandemic crippling almost everything and everybody going digital and everything, concerts online, is it just going to be another online uh, music concert? Or what, is it, what exactly is it going to do for the industry and content creators? I, I think YouTube Week, YouTube Music Day Week, because we had we, there's a YouTube Week which we did last year, and unfortunately we couldn't host it um, this year because it, it's the the scope of it was is so broad. So we had to do narrow it down to YouTube Music Week this year. And the objective, like I mentioned, was to showcase some of the artists and songs making waves on the platform. We were showcasing some of the fun, fun features of YouTube as a YouTube Music app, like the lyrics, the play, um, sorry, the playlist. Okay. the ability to have remixes and covers, the ability to download and subscribe, and we did all of that. Now, for YouTube Music Week, we also used it as an opportunity to sort of showcase four artists. And, and in our conversation, we had um, Ade Kuniko, Digicopy, Pato Rankin, and um, Fireboy, right? Each of these artists have released an album within the pandemic period, which is quite interesting. Um, and it just gave... it to give them a voice and an opportunity to talk about their album. Many of them had collaborations, not just with local artists, but with international artists. Many of them, for the first time, were doing, were changing their sound, right? We're even rebranding in terms of their looks and appearance. We saw that with Adekule Board as well. Mm -hmm. So we used that conversation to sort of expose the artists, give them a voice on the platform. And each one of them has like strong footprint on the platform, right? The, the songs are trending, it's talkability. So with YouTube Music Week, and this is something we've started and we'll continue, we will continue to give up artists an opportunity to express themselves on our platform, or more importantly, let people connect and engage with them. Okay. All right, and Susie, thank you so much. Before we let you go, though, we want, I want to talk about the influencers for a bit. We've talked a lot about the artist, um, and I know that even with your events, your music week, you pa paired up with a lot of influencers. We saw the, you know, the packs and stuff going to different people from different spheres of life and all that. So I know that the music works hand in hand with influencers. So if there are influencers watching now as well who are feeling like maybe they haven't really gotten that recognition or maybe they didn't even qualify and didn't get a pack, what would you advise that they could use to up their games since everyone's really trying to just, you know, stay relevant in this, in this day? I, I, I really don't, I really can't address that. I, I feel Why? Like First uh -uh. thing was I said the work Spilty. is on you. You want to if you're an influencer, there, there is a network of folks you need to be associating with right now, right? The people who are sort of driving that music ecosystem. For YouTube Music Week, it was important to talk to that music ecosystem, right? So if you're somebody who is an enthusiast for music, or you're in the record label industry, mm -hmm. or you're an influencer that has a voice that's tied to music and the labels mm -hmm. or the artists. Right, mm. there is a community. So, what I'd advise is just expand your network. There's mm. that opportunity. Let people know what you're about. Let people know what you Alrighty. have to offer. And when opportunities like this come subsequently, um, fingers crossed, you get invited. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's, right. let's, one more question before we let you go. Okay, so one more question before I let you go. Um, okay, so for me, that I'm just starting, like I'm just starting this out. I don't know nothing about this. I'm an upcoming uh, influencer. I want to be one or an upcoming artist. How? Give me three major tips. How can I put my stuff out there? Number one, make sure you have good stuff because the, the thing at the end of the day is there's a lot of content in the in this space, okay. right? And people, um, attention span is much shorter these days. Like the average person is like a goldfish. It's six seconds. If it's not relevant, if it's not useful, you're sort of bouncing off. Okay. So one thing is make sure, one, you have a niche for yourself but have unique, compelling, engaging, interesting content, whatever you're doing. That's the first thing. Secondly, be consistent. Right, um, it's hard to build a career or build a following if you're dropping content once a month, right? Because yeah, people sure. within that gap sure, are moving on to other true. things. Mm. So you have to find a schedule that works about consistency, okay. uh, and that basically means that if it's a weekly thing, have a weekly schedule. People know that okay, at four p.m. Um, every Thursday, if first dropping a video, mm. and they look forward to it. Right. Mm. Thirdly, be intentional. 
you have to do a lot of the heavy lifting by yourself for starters. By, and heavy lifting means that expand your network, let people share your content, True. ask people to do things you want them to True. do. So if you want them to hit the like button, you want them to right. subscribe to your channel, you want them to share, tell them. Because if you don't tell them, right, they wouldn't do it. So that's three things. Good content, consistency, and be in, being awesome. intentional. All that's right. what I would thank, say. Thank you, thank you very you much. So much. Keyword, Tutu. expand your network. <laughs> True. Thank you so much, Tutu. Have a good yeah. day. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. What do you guys think about that? Amazing, amazing. There's I think um, well said, yeah. well said. Um, she's addressed everything. So I think everybody who wants to be in that mm. space, they know the right steps they need to take, yeah. you know, right guide and all. I so, kind of yeah. like how YouTube is um, making a, a, a foot in the Nigerian space. I think mm -hmm. if, if I remember before, it was only the Americans that were getting True. proper yeah. um, live um, f uh, attention. They used to get like um, YouTube plaques and they would mm -hmm. get, you True. know, meet and greets and right. stuff. That never used to exist in this mm -hmm. country when the them were there and stuff so i like that they're giving some more support to true that it just, to, it just shows nigerian content is getting better it like is, people are putting yeah. more effort into yeah. it so yeah but Big i just hope they nigerians. don't water it down with mediocre though mm. oh no that will always happen i they're, think so they too. are there yeah because I, I noticed that like you know despite the fact that it's it's so saturated there's yeah. still people who are you know killing it in the game so far so i'm hoping that this conversation was really encouraging to anyone mm -hmm. who is thinking about starting like even though there's still a million and one influencers out there if you right. do the three things that Tutu had mentioned, at least it's a start in the right direction. But like I said, keyword, expand your network. That's yeah. very important. Don't just go to events and just stand around, you know. Mm. And, take, and take pictures. Yeah, you know. Mm. Meet people. Guy. <laughs> yeah. Exchange right. cards and numbers. You need that.